The art of the remake is a time-honored tradition in the Kingdom Hearts series. Hardly a game goes by that doesn't receive some sort of uniquely subtitled re-release. But rarely do we see Square Enix go in the opposite direction, to take an existing game and demake it for more primitive hardware. However, in 2008, Nomura decided to take this bold leap backwards in the most Kingdom Hearts way possible, scheming up a mobile demake of a console remake of a handheld experience. The resulting product was quite the fascinating package, but unfortunately, it was lost to time, leaving behind nothing but a few screenshots and scattered mentions in old blog posts. Until today, that is. This is the story of Kingdom Hearts Balloon Glider. Kingdom Hearts Balloon Glider was one of three launch titles for the Kingdom Hearts mobile service, released for iMode-compatible Japanese cell phones on December 15, 2008. I covered the background of KH Mobile more thoroughly in my last video. For now, all you need to know is that KH Mobile functioned as a download portal for mini games like Balloon Glider, and money earned from playing those mini games could be redeemed back in KH Mobile for ringtones, wallpapers, and avatar cosmetics. What makes Balloon Glider so special among the KH Mobile applications is that it was a recreation of an existing Kingdom Hearts mini game. Say hello to Balloon Glider from Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories. While the original GBA game turned the 100 Acre Wood into an escort quest where you had to solve various puzzles to reunite Pooh with his friends, the PS2 remake returned the peaceful forest to its minigame roots. One of these minigames was Balloon Glider, in which Sora helps Pooh gather honey from a tree with literal use of Balloonra. The core gameplay of KH Mobile's Balloon Glider is the same as the PS2 version. The goal is to reach the top of the tree while collecting as many honey droplets as you can. Hitting an obstacle will pop one of Sora's balloons, and if all three balloons pop, the minigame ends. Putting a PS2 game onto a flip phone does require some sacrifices, however. Instead of rotating around the tree in a 3D environment, the mobile balloon glider takes place entirely in a 2D plane. This means that you cannot take the back route to avoid an obstacle by performing a full loop around the tree, and it also means that the tree branch obstacles had to be replaced by more bees. There are also some changes that I would consider improvements of the original. In Recom, all of Pooh's friends are scattered across 100 Acre Wood, each leading their own minigame. Since Cage Balloon Glider only consisted of a single minigame, it relocated the majority of the wood's residents to the honey tree. Owl, instead of giving the minigame instructions, will fly around with large honey droplets worth five times as much as an ordinary honey prize. Piglet will float around and give Sora an extra balloon if he has fewer than three. This is much more charming than just having extra balloons float there like in the original, Though there are three instances in Balloon Glider where their balloon refill spot is completely surrounded by bees, so Piglet is forced to leave the balloon floating there solo for his own safety. Tigger is also on the tree, though his contribution is far less useful. Unfortunately for Sora and Pooh, all Tigger knows is bounce, and colliding with a bouncing Tigger will come at the cost of one balloon. Perhaps the biggest change made in Kingdom Hearts Mobile was the addition of a timer. If time runs out, you automatically lose the minigame forcing you to take a riskier path through the bees, or even sacrifice some honey prizes to save a few extra seconds. At the end of the level, any time left on the timer will be converted to extra points. This leads to a system in which high score requires speed in addition to precision. At the end of each stage, after your score is calculated, you will receive money to bring back to the Avatar Kingdom, or monies since we're living in the Japanese dub. There are eight stages in Kingdom Hearts Balloon Glider, each with a different honey requirement and time limit. There's also one extra long challenge stage that would factor into KH Mobile's online ranking system. Stage 1 is pretty simple. There are only 8 bees in the entire level, and the honey droplets form a single path from start to finish. Stage 2 asks you to maneuver a bit closer to the bees, but like Stage 1, it'd be pretty impressive if you managed to fail the level. Stage 3 focuses entirely on moving obstacles. Every bee here is on the go, meaning that you'll need good timing to collect all of the honey droplets, though I can't say it's all too difficult. Actually, there's one single bee in this level who isn't moving back and forth. He's just floating there, not even vaguely in the path of the honey prizes. I'll call him Gerald. Stage 4 has two different sections. The first part puts all of the honey in groups of three, asking you to thread the needle between pairs of bees. The second part has a solid path of honey droplets broken up by horizontal rows of moving bees. Neither one is too difficult to get through, but I appreciate how each stage makes an active effort to have unique obstacle patterns. Stage 5 is all about circles. Small circles of rotating bees, large circles of stationary bees, and medium circles that open and close. Stage 6 has a bunch of narrow corridors with honey prizes placed right along the walls of bees. It can be tricky if you're not patient, 
Sora and Pooh automatically float upwards if you don't provide any input, so you need to keep moving downwards to bounce it out. This is also the only main stage to give more than a minute on the timer. Stage 7 is one of the levels that doesn't have a clear path from start to finish. The honey prizes are scattered in small groups, so you'll need to plan out a good route in order to get a high score. However, the 50 seconds it gives you is more than enough if all you're worried about is making it to the end. Stage 8 does its best to give the player a challenge. The first part has diagonally moving rows of bees, the middle part has a tight squeeze through a stationary formation, and the last part has a few rotating bees inside a horde of honey prizes. Plus, you can't miss more than a single honey droplet in order to reach the required score of 80. The final level is the challenge stage, which is incredibly fun. It combines all of the different tricks from the main levels and introduces some new formations. Getting a fast time on this level is a really fun challenge, but I definitely spent way more time than I should have grinding out a high score. At the beginning, I want to hold up as much as possible. All of the obstacles are on a cycle, so we can always dodge Tigger's bounce consistently. At this first turn, I intentionally take damage to set up a later cycle, the maneuver Sora so his toes pick up the next set of honey prizes. I know I've made the right cycle if I see a bee in the top left corner, so I quickly grab the prizes in the left circle and then the right circle. After swooping by Owl, I zigzag to pick up two rows of prizes at a time. While exiting this area, I go left, then right to set my position closer to Owl. This next part is just some tight movements. In this section, the movement is deceptively precise, and you'll see me quickly tap in the opposite direction to control Sora's movement. I do take a hit here, but I know I'll have to wait on a cycle after this section's over, so it doesn't lose me any time. This final section is by far the hardest, and I'll want to damage boost as much as possible. This part could have been done faster, but at this point I've spent over two hours practicing this level, so I'll take what I can get. I make it to the end with 88 seconds on the timer and every honey droplet collected. Now, some of you might have noticed that the artwork in this game looks awfully familiar, and you'd be right. In recreating a minigame from a re-chain of memories, Square Enix pulled sprites from the original Chain of Memories, bringing the story of Balloon Glider full circle. Tigger is the most obvious example. His jump cycle is ripped straight from the Game Boy Advance. Piglet's sprite seems to be an edited version of his Chain of Memories sprite. While his head is identical, his feet, hands, and body are all slightly tweaked. Owl's sprites also share similarities to the ones in Calm, but the poses are all unique to Balloon Glider. Though, fun fact, the file name for Owl's sprite is spelled O-W-E-L. Owl. Sora is my favorite example of a reused sprite. His pose in Balloon Glider is taken from his ledge-hanging animation from Chain of Memories. On the other hand, Pooh is mimicking his pose from the recom version of the minigame, so his sprites couldn't directly be lifted from the GBA game. Most of the UI elements are also recreations of sprites from ReChain of Memories, such as the score counter and the height gauge. The icon for the honey droplets actually originated in Kingdom Hearts 2 before being brought to recom in KH Mobile. If we take a look at the main menu, we'll find some more repurposed artwork. The background is a pixelated version of artwork of the Honey Tree from the original Kingdom Hearts. Piglet uses his Cage 1 render, and Pooh uses his Cage 2 render. There are also three icons for the game in different sizes. The larger two use the same renders as the title screen, but the smallest one switches to Pooh's Cage 1 render. Sprites and renders aren't the only thing that Balloon Glider borrows from other KH games. All of the music is also taken from earlier entries in the series, which makes perfect sense. Balloon Glider has a pretty inspired selection of music tracks, especially compared to some of the other KH Mobile minigames that we'll take a look at later. However, the flip phones that ran Kingdom Hearts Mobile were significantly less powerful than the PlayStation 2, so all of the songs had to be remade in lower quality to varying results. The main menu uses the song March Along, one of the two 100-acre wood tracks made for Rechain of Memories, and the background song for the original Balloon Glider minigame. A perfect pick.
March Along is also used as the music for every odd-numbered level. The even-numbered levels use Bounce-O-Rama, the 100 Acre Wood minigame theme from KH1 and KH2. Having the song rotate every level is a bit of an odd decision, but I appreciate the musical variety. The real star of the show is Dash Along, a criminally underrated track that plays in the faster-paced Rechain of Memories mini-games. Cage Balloon Glider uses this song exclusively in the challenge stage, and given the level's increased difficulty, it works perfectly. These 100 Acre Wood themes are the only three songs used in Balloon Glider, but there's actually a fourth song hidden away in the game's files. Go for it, the battle theme of Olympus Coliseum. I assume that this was a dummier placeholder track, the fact that it appears after the 100 Acre Wood tracks in the game's files is a bit strange. And with that, the story of Kingdom Hearts Balloon Glider is finally complete, no longer cast away in the abyss of lost media. This title serves as a good introduction to the catalog of Kingdom Hearts mobile minigames, acting as a bridge between the main cage series and the inventions of the mobile service. Even though Balloon Glider is heavily derivative of Rechain of Memories, you can still see the care and charm put into the experience be it through the thematically inspired song selection, or the addition of Tigger, Piglet, and Owl. As we move on to KH Mobile titles that are based on real-world games, or are wholly original, we start to see even more resourcefulness and creativity. Once again, special thanks to everyone at the Ketai Wiki for their work on preservation and emulation. Extra special thanks to Memory Hunter for actually making a patch for the game, since running the original on an emulator would crash the game after every level due to an integer parsing error. Next time, we'll take a look at a Kingdom Hearts mobile game that has over 8 times as many levels as Balloon Glider. I'll see you there.